<laughs> so for my second pick, um, I want to do something a little more culturing and also kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. Um, might not know it because I love my Transformers. I love my Fast and the Furious. I love all of those ridiculous movies, but I picked Les Miserables for my pick. Uh, the new one, Hugh Jackman. Um, I picked it, one, because I love the movie. I love the story. I love Broadway musicals. I Wicked is one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, and then another reason, when I found out that none of these three had seen it, now they all understand the references. They know the songs. This is more for everyday conversation. When I start singing the songs, now they get it. Um, so, in a nutshell, what it is, uh, Hugh Jackman, I could say their names, but I, for the sake of understanding, yeah. Hugh Jackman, um, former convict, gets out of jail. He had been in jail for uh, 20 years. Um, can't find a job because he's branded a dangerous man. So in order to start anew, he makes up a new character, ends up becoming the mayor of Paris. Um, but when someone is accused of being him and breaking his parole, he admits who he is. And then the law is after them, after him again, and a character named Javert has been chasing him. That's um, Russell Crowe, right? Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe Russell Crow, Russell Crow is Javert. So Russell Crowe is basically playing cat and mouse with Hugh Jackman over the course of, during this movie, I think it's uh, 16, 17 years. Something like that. So, pretty long movie that takes place, um, and he has to, Hugh Jackman actually picks up Anne Hathaway's daughter, who turns out to be a man to see Freed in the future, um, because he wants to redeem his soul, um, but there's a lot more that goes into it, um, I don't want to spoil anything, again, it's one of my favorite movies, but the premise is it's a cat and mouse between Russell Crowe and Hugh Jackman, and Hugh Jackman trying to save his eternal soul, so... Was he the mayor? I thought he was just a prominent business owner. No, no. Monsieur Le Maire. Maybe that was just his last name. His new I thought, last name. I thought that was his last name. Le Maire. Is it really? I thought his last name was Le Maire. Yeah, I thought he was just a prominent business owner in the town. Well, shit, I guess I don't I'm... even know his first name. Wolverine. Monsieur. Wolverine versus Maximus. Is... Well, we'll cut out me sounding like an idiot then. No, we won't. No, we won't. No, we should. We shouldn't. I'm the editor. I, well, I guess it. I guess it's just something that I never understood because French. Yeah, because French. It's it's reasonable enough. Anyways, um, one of my favorite movies. I love the music. It'll get stuck in my head. Um, I think it has a really good tale, and at the same time, it has. Uh, <coughs> historical importance because it talks about the um the failed french revolution so spoilers the french revolution failed <laughs> the first time man i i didn't know that wait there was two see before we put this online there's gonna be another one <laughs> whoa so thoughts and it's gonna fail <laughs> josh what are your thoughts on les miserables uh, les miserables did you pronounce the S? Because you didn't. I, Le Miserable, I believe is how it's I was making a joke. I say Le Mis. I say Le Mis. I'm going to say Le Mis. You say yes. Le Mis. So, Le Mis. I actually enjoyed this movie. I was surprised. I was surprised. <laughs> I was surprised <laughs> because going into it, I knew it was a musical, but I didn't know it was a full-blown musical. I thought it was more dialogue. Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect. Mamma Mia. Well, yeah, like like a classical version of like, just like a modern musical type, if that even makes sense. Uh, it makes sense to us. It probably doesn't make any sense to you, but that's yeah. okay. But I was expecting a little more dialogue. <laughs> After like a half an hour into the movie, I'm like, there's not going to be any dialogue, is there? <laughs> it's sad that it kind of took me that long to figure that out. But either way, I still liked it. I recognized a couple of the songs. <laughs> We're still and... waiting for dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> I recognized a couple of the songs, which made it, even better, because I'd be able to sing along in my head while they were singing it. Uh, Makes the movie twice as good, uh, by the way. Whatever, my one like a great song, favorite of the movie was uh, during the French Revolution when they're about to revolt. Uh, can you hear the, hear do you hear the people, the people sing? sing? I don't even know if that's a title, but I'm going to. I think it is. I'm going to put it as the uh, title now. Do you hear people sing? I really like that it was song. very good. And it was stuck in my head along with a couple of songs for the next Probably a couple days, and every once in a while now. And other than that, the, the 
everything it was a good story even apart from the music i mean the, the music's gonna make it but the the story and everything to go along with it is very solid in my opinion and a uh, very solid pick really liked it go ahead jordan <laughs> all right <clears throat> I feel like you all are going to be, like, surprised by my response. Uh-oh. Ooh, twist. What? Twist. I just got nervous. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'll start with the uh, the cons of this movie. Um, I like hearing bad news first. Yeah, I did too. Um, first of all, I, I hated how there was no dialogue other than, like, two sentences of the movie. Um, and, yeah, that's about it. Shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Had there been di- more dialogue, this probably would have been one of my top top favorite movies, actually. I loved how it had, <laughs> I loved how it, like, just gave an awesome historical story. Mm-hmm. Um, I really appreciated the, the way it was filmed. Um. Again, I. It kind of annoyed me that it was constantly singing like parts that seemed like they should have been. Yeah, because you were like flipping out next to yeah. me. Yeah. Like, that yeah. Had, freaking out. Had that not been a part of the movie, I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more than what I did. So that being said, I just want to ask you: Is it something that when you think back to it, you realize you enjoyed it more than the yep. t- at the time because you were I, expecting something different? Ex- yeah. Exactly. That. Okay. I feel, I feel like your opinion kind of changed since we first watched it. Yeah, because you were not, not, not a changed, happy camper. Not a lot, during... but like, if we would have like, done the re- review immediately after, mm-hmm. like on a movie-by-movie basis, mm-hmm. I feel like it would have been a lot more cons. Like, you'd have yep. been, or at least not as many Or it would have been, like, the I, con would have been more important. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that. Okay, yeah. yeah, that would have played a larger factor because, yeah, that just... I was like, just say some words. Like, <laughs> like what he, he was reading, and he was singing what he was reading, and that one, I don't know what, what part it was, but I remember that. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, this is not an appropriate time to sing. <laughs> oh. But that being said, since it is a Broadway musical, I feel like I would enjoy it more seeing it live. You would. You absolutely would. would. So... That being said, that is that's my review. Would you watch it again? I wouldn't watch it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to watch it. But if like, <laughs> like, I, I don't know what I'm. I'm trying to. Would it? Well, I was just it thinking. Would I wouldn't. Top choice. It wouldn't be my top choice to watch. But it was. If it was on TV, I would watch it. Okay. Okay. Oh. My turn. <clears throat> Les Mis. I'm going to start off with my agreeing with Jordan. Uh, there's uh, the initial opening song in the movie. Really good. I'm like, okay, musical, you know, that's all right, fine, whatever. Um, this is a pretty good song. I was digging it. And then when uh, the first, you know, the next part where uh, Hugh Jackman and Russell Crowe characters, I was like, okay, they're going to have a conversation. No, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna sing a conversation. Prisoner 24601. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna sing. They're, they're, every single scene in this movie is, is sang, even the ones that really shouldn't be. The, uh, mm-hmm. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. That those parts I hated. Couldn't stand. Besides, the sword fight duet. Confrontation. Yep. Great. All the rest of the duets, I thought, easily this would have been a way better film had it been spoken, because it was taking me out of it. It was bothering me. It was driving me nuts. Um. So get that out of the way. I fucking hated those parts. Couldn't stand it. But, that said, uh, the rest of the movie, I really enjoyed, for the most part. Um, all the songs that were, like, a large group of people singing, the Do You Hear the People Sing, uh, One Day More, all those were really cool songs, really good stuff. Um, and some of the solos, not all of them, I didn't really like, I didn't like Anne Hathaway's solo. She doesn't do that song justice, but at the same time, we have to remember, this is unrelated to your critique but um one of the only movies where they don't dub over it they actually sang on set um and, and she did it all in one take and she did it all in one take well um, impressive so, like i'm not you know i'll give her that i just no and i and i understand i, I don't think she deserved 
the Oscar for that performance. I mean, I guess I can't remember who she was up against. Maybe everybody else was just garbage that year. But I don't think she deserved the Oscar for that performance. I didn't know she got an Oscar for that. She did. She best, wasn't a best Supporting she wasn't a, Actress? Best Supporting Actress. Surprisingly, oh, okay. she yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Supporting. So, some of the solos, I, I, I liked Russell Crowe's solo, even though Which he was one? the best. Thing. The one on the, both of them, actually. I before like I like both of them, too. Before he left when he tore up his documents. Yeah, the one he were, he, well, both of me. The first one no, he was on John the No, John talking about Russell Crowe right now. Oh, oh never mind. Yeah. Um, there's, there's the one he, in the building and one on the bridge. When he spoiler committed suicide. <laughs> yeah. The name of the song is Javert's Suicide. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. <laughs> that's, the <name laughs> that's the name of the song. Oh, good thing you didn't look at those before. Yeah. <laughs> so the solos were hit or miss, uh, you know, whatever. But the, all the the big ensemble pieces were excellent. Um, good story. I was engaged. I was interested in seeing how it played out. I like the, the the rebellion theme that runs throughout it. I thought that was pretty cool. So good story. Um, I, but I do think it would have been a better movie had the duet pieces been spoken. I would have liked it a lot more. Cool. So, good movie. I don't know if, honestly, I don't think I would watch it again. At least not for a long time. It's one of those movies where I'm finally watching it once. I feel the same way about Interstellar. I don't need to watch that one again. So, doesn't mean it's a bad movie, it just means it's one I... It's not really my genre, not really my normal thing, and I probably wouldn't go out of my way to watch it. I mean, maybe if I was just there. But, but it was still, still a good movie. Awesome. With a few bad parts. Awesome. So that's what I thought. Do you have anything else to say about it? No, I think all of your guys' critiques are fair. Um, I can see where it doesn't fall under standard genre for some people. Not something they would go out of their way to see, kind of like what you said. Go out of my way to see, that's what I wanted to say. I wouldn't go out of my way to see it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I meant to say. I gotcha. Um, that being said, I would hope that if any of you had the chance to see a live production of it, that you would be interested in seeing it now, and you would go yes. in understanding there's not going to be dialogue. Mm -hmm. But I can see why, in movie fashion, you would only want to watch it once. So Yes. I, I would be interested in seeing uh, the uh, stage version of it. I would. Cool. 